Welcome to the Fantasy Thinker. I'm Jared Kodamich. Today, we are going to be doing Reading the Prose number 17, and I'm going to delve yet once again into Grand Conspiracy by Jenny Wirtz. And this Reading the Prose I'm doing for a bit more of a selfish reason. And I'm also doing it for all my role fantasy role-playing game friends out there who, um, who uh, you know, how many times have, especially for your dungeon masters out there, how many times have you taken your characters into a tavern and then, wait, how do you describe that tavern? What's going on? Most of the times it's, you enter the tavern, do you order a drink? And who's the guy sitting in the corner with the mysterious hood over his uh, over his face, you know? And then you get right into the into the uh you know the the reason for them meeting this mysterious character for the for the for the uh adventure to come uh but for this reading the prose uh i'm going to literally steal this passage for my the next time my characters go into a tavern with all apologies to jenny words <laughs> um but that's what happens when you write good stuff like this. People want to use it, right? All right. Uh, so uh, here, put it up here. Uh, here is the uh, the passage. Imagine your characters, if you're, you know, your your elven archer going into this tavern with, you know, with their companions, and here's what you see. The taproom's raw noise crescendoed off the beam ceiling. A man two trestles down had offended a doxy, with every hooting, drunken onlooker hurling good-natured slangs or offering disastrous advice. The air hung thick as moist cotton. The reek of boiled leather armor and oiled steel underhung the greasy fog thrown off by the fluttering tallow wicks burning in pinched clay pots. Under a kaleidoscopic jumble of thrown shadow, past the shrieking gyrations of a whore who danced on a tabletop. The dark game in the corner had dissipated into an off-key chorus of song. Amid that glorious tapestry of bedlam, men clashed empty tankers to flag down the overworked barmaid. So, uh, so just imagine that as your characters go into the tavern and just feel how that really sets up the tone and setting of a place that is a, a real active bar uh, tavern in um, that your characters can be a part of. There's just so much set up there for the characters to interact with. You can go over to the guys um, who are clanking the tankards. You can, you can feel the... Uh, the uh the the air and the uh and the smells of the you know the the, the wicks and the pinch clay pots you know the, that greasy smell that those give off you can um and and that reek of men who wear armor and who are uh, you know have oiled steel you know um and you can you can you can interact with the the dancers and with the 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 drunken onlookers and the noise that just comes off into this uh, into this situation of uh, people singing off key and it's just it's it's such a picture and such a short little passage. Um, it is such a picture for characters to really your players uh, to really just let that sink in and grasp the uh, you know a kind of a uh hopping bar there you know kind of a festive situation and uh you know what better way to start off an adventure than with something as descriptive and p picturesque as that so that's all i have for today for reading the prose number 17 uh, i hope you enjoyed that little thing i hope you you dungeon masses out there will uh, will use something like that. All right. Be good to each other. Thank you.